CNN is Elinet 5. So we are going to see now that we have tried to build a formal CNN. We are going to see how the other versions of CNN that we use in our day to day life got evolved. The very first of it being Elinet 5. So it is the most simplest CNN architecture which was designed for handwritten and machine printed character recognition and it was introduced in the year 1998. All of our modern CNN architecture that we use today like ResNet, LXNet, VGG, they are all built up on the same ideology as that of Elinet 5 but then with more deeper neural net, uh, network layers and with more sophisticated components. The basic ideology was with respect to Elinet 5. I mean the basic ideology was invented with their introduction to Elinet 5. So this Elinet 5 network, what does it do is, it accepts the input images of size 32 by 32. If I actually speak, actual size of the image was 28 by 28 grayscale image that it could take. But after padding, it is made 32 by 32 because we wanted to keep our edges uh, uh, information also good and safe so with the padding 28 by 28 became 32 by 32 and this was taken as an input in an alienate file so the very first thing that after padding you do to an image is to pass through a convolution layer and the size of the image if you can see is not that big so the number of convolution layers will be low only as per the dimension which is uh, okay to be classified. So the first convolution layer is passed this input of 32 by 32. So once that input is passed through convolutional layer 1, then the output of an image is actually of size 28 by 28 but we write it as a tensor. The output exactly is a tensor. This B here is not bias, please. It is the batch size. So what is this batch size? How many batches of image at a time you are processing together? So it is again user specific. So batch size is B as by default I am keeping here. 32 by 32 after passing to convolution definitely there will be reduction in spatial dimension and the image became 28 by 28 as that of an original image. So after padding you got the original size of the image once you have extracted the features also. And how many feature maps it has obtained for you? 6. So this entire information is the output of your first convolution layer which is as a tensor. Okay. So now after you have used a convolution layer, uh, we will be using as a convention a pooling layer or a downsampling layer. The other name of pooling layer is a downsampling layer. So of course by choosing a specific pooling layer, you will be reducing the tensor size to B. Again, B is bad size. 6 is the feature size map. They won't be changed. But then the size will be changed of an image to 14 by 14 dimension. And then you pass this on to the second convolution layer. <coughs> wherein the output tensor again is B, 10, 10 and 16. So the image size is shrinked to 10 by 10 after extracting the features. And the number of the feature maps are also increased as you are seeing. So once these two convolution layer are A over, you can see the dimension is still 10 by 10. If you further want to decrease it, there is again a pooling layer used which is uh, uh, downsampling it further to again 5 by 5. So after this, I think this is good to pass through a dense network. So you already know that uh, before you, it is still in the form of a matrix of 16 feature maps. So you have to pass it on through a flattened layer uh, and make it in this way. It's in a single dimension vector. So before entering the fully connected layer, it is flattened and the tensor is converted to a one dimensional <coughs> vector and then it is fed to two dense layers. So what exactly is the structure of LENet 5? You have a conv layer and a pooling and again a conv layer and a pooling right then you input is given to these two convolution layer followed by a pooling and then you have a flattened layer and then you have two dense layers okay and then finally you get an output so the final uh, you know two fully connected layers are chosen with the input nodes of 120 and 84 and finally this tensor of size b comma 84 is obtained out of the dense layer and it undergoes the 
uh, Gaussian connection layer wherein you get your output. So this is how an architecture of Elinet 5 looks like. So you have an input image, I'm sorry. So you have an input image. Uh, if I want to draw the architecture, then you have an input image. Let's say A is the character that I want to recognize with a size 32 by 32 after padding. You pass it through convolution layer and make it 28 by 28 with six. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six activation maps okay feature map so 28 by 28 is the dimension and 6 is the count so this tensor is written as 28 comma 28 comma 6 now that there is only one image by default i am writing like this if there are multiple images then here you will have a batch size as well okay so now as such you move on with the second layer of convolution and then again it has got uh, uh, you know after subsampling I'm sorry not convolution after pooling you will get a 14 by 14 you can see the reduction in the dimension size and then afterwards again a convolution further decrease in the size and furthermore decrease in the size you can see the increase in the activation number map I mean a feature map number and then finally you pass it on through a dense uh, network and towards the output which is of dimension 10. So this is the standard Elinet 5 architecture which was a very successful model. Now uh, if I want to define as I already defined it for you but more in detail will be a grayscale image of 32 by 32 as an input which was padded and convolutional layers for feature extraction it has got two set of convolutional layers with the first layer having six filters of size 5 comma 5 activation function used was tan h and this was the output and pooling we are doing average pooling of size 2 by 2 stride taken was 2 output size was 14 by 14 and uh, second convolution layer 16 play filters of 5 by 5 and tan h and the size is 10 by 10 average pooling again done with a pooling size of 2 by 2 stride of 2 output sizes 5 by 5 that you have obtained flattened layer output of the second pooling layer is flattened into a vector wherein it is passed again to fully connected layer it has got three fully connected layer here two of them are used specifically as a dense layer the third one will be used as an output layer so the first dense layer is going to use 120 neurons with tan h as an activation second dense layer will use 84 neurons you can see there is a subsequent decrease in the number of neurons as i am proceeding further and uh, activation is tan h and the final output if i am choosing for 10 classes in case of digit recognition i'll use 10 neurons here and the activation is soft max so basically if i want to discuss our activation function almost every layer is using tan h uh, good it is a very good activation function which is going to squish the value between minus 1 and 1 we have already seen what are the uses of tan h activation function and further because there are multi -class category classification the output layer will choose softmax as its activation function uh, that is going to give you the multi category classification so this was about elinet 5 architecture and based on this only further enhanced architectures were built